you're going to put him in charge of the economy, I think that's kind of dangerous. In part, doesn't this, Charlie, have to do with her comments about coal in West Virginia? Oh, yeah. And she's trying to buffer that with mentions of Bill Clinton. Absolutely. And I, I really think that that, uh, that coal remark will go down <clears throat> as her uh, version of Mitt Romney's 47% remark. Because, and what's amazing about that is that, of course, Mitt Romney said that in a, at a private dinner and he didn't think he was going to be quoted. She says it in front of an auditorium full of people on national television. And I think it probably reveals really what it's certainly what uh, many in the uh, Democratic base want to do to the coal industry. Charles. I think that's right. It is the ultimate gaffe. She said what she really believed, and she's been running away from it ever since. If there's no way to run away from it, it will definitely hurt her in the general election in Appalachian coal country. Uh, I think the idea of putting her husband in charge, she has this tricky deal. She wants to run on the glowing memory of the 90s. On the other hand, the minute she brings it up, all the other stuff in the 90s comes flowing in, and she can't. There's no way to avoid the second when you invoke the first. By the way, those Bernie Sanders millennials.